Hi folks, it's Remembrance Week, so I thought I would tell you a wee story about love and war. The story regarding Jim and Betty. Jim and Betty were childhood sweethearts. They grew up together in the same street and frequented the cafe at the, the end of the road. When they turned 20, Jim went down on one knee and asked Betty to marry him, and she said yes. But unfortunately, they didn't get married because war broke out. On well, the good side was that uh, the platoon commander, Jim's uh, platoon commander, had said that he would take a photograph of all the young happy couples before they went off to France. This is a photograph that was taken and each was given a photograph. And at the train station, Jim had said to Betty when she was saying, cheerio to him, I'm going to take the photograph, he says. But I'm not going to take it all. I'm going to half it. And I will take half. And you take half. And that way we can remember each other while we're parted until we meet again. So Jim took the photograph, folded it and tore it down the middle. Gave Betty her, her half and he took his and put it in his wallet. Off he went to France, and when he got home, he discovered to his horror that the town had been bombed, the street had been destroyed and the cafe was no more. Betty had been evacuated, but he knew not where. He searched high and low and couldn't find her. After a while, he gave up looking. He eventually moved away, then came back to the area 50 years later. And in this time, there was another cafe at the end of the road. So he started going in there regularly for a cup of coffee. And he got chatting and got to know the cafe owner. And he was telling him the story of Betty and how they split up and of the photograph. The cafe owner asked, he says, can I see the photograph? And Jim says, certainly. They took the photograph from his wallet. And he showed it to the cafe owner. And the cafe owner had a tear well up in his eye. And he says, hold on, he says, I'll be back shortly. And he got a cup of coffee down in front of Jim and the cafe owner ran out of the shop. Fifteen minutes later, he was back. And with him, there was a woman. And Jim looked up and he instantly recognised the love of his life. He saw Betty. She hadn't aged. As far as he was concerned, she was as beautiful as the day they had got to, uh, they had parted. Jim took the photograph and Betty took her photograph after they had embraced and put them together. And they formed one photograph. But a miracle happened. As he looked at her, she looked 21 and so did he. And when they looked at the photograph, like Dorian and Gray, the photograph had aged. The miracle of love and war.